the Galactic Rolls. We are into Chapter 2. That was my B. And we are on the Galactic Roll. We are now seeking a new adventure. And if you go back, check out the archives on my second channel, you can get all yourself clued up. But essentially, we're just a bunch of ragtag people. Unfortunately, it's mainly our scientist person, who's the only one that's actually specked out to be really clever, is mm. currently stuck in the lab. And uh, we're now having to figure out what we're going to do next. So, Havrock, let's go. Yes. So, uh, in the beginning of this episode, we can see the galactic the ship that looks kind of like a mix of a Walkman and a, Lambo uh, and, uh, a Cadillac, cutting through space. Then suddenly, yeah, it's a, bit, the, it's a bit busy. The busy lane, the thing. Trent's going like, "Learn to space drive, you." Yeah. Sadly, sadly, there is an issue because uh, our heroes were looking for a place to hide in in the last episode. Since they figured out they came back came back from a place that they shouldn't uh, come back from, and. What doesn't help is that a red light near the uh, fuel supplies. Didn't we just solve this issue? Well, we solved the problem for one type of fuel, but not the other. We were too distracted about all the cool glowy things. All right, all right, all right. So there, there's nothing else aboard? And like a like a black hole generator or something nonsense, some sci-fi nonsense we could just shove into that compartment? Well, we it tried that with we, you tried that with Dren's hand. That didn't work. Right, computer hand, right. How's that working out for you, by the way? It's not good. <laughs> Just... Fair enough. <laughs> the, uh, the, synthetic, the, the synthetic voice of Dr. Asim, who's now uploaded in the ship's computer, chimes in. Uh, I've checked every single, as you, as you call it, science nonsense of the ship, Mr. Starcade, and... We are missing the good old rocket fuel from our basic, basic thrusters, and if we don't solve this problem, we will be sticking back. We can do jumps, but sorry, sorry um, guys, the the ambient noise is a is a bit mucked up. It's on it's on really large hall setting. Can we uh? <laughs> let, me, let me fix those settings and clear it up a bit. We are a legion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you mean actual, like, technological... Got it, got it, got it. We can fix this. All right. Uh, dot com cracks his knuckles, like, spires up some electricity. Where do I... Where should I break, put my fingers? Where should I put my, my uh, exploring hands? <laughs> uh, well, we've got, we've, got the, uh, we've got the main port. We've got the import uh, slot here, and we've got the out port slot just underneath it there. Try, try in there. All right, I'll put I'll put two in the imports for now, <laughs> and I'll give it give it an encouraging shock. <laughs> and Frita's just there, just look, kind of like shivering with like disgust. I would like to read that, says Doctor Asim. <laughs> uh, that um, I think the did that. I think the computer that... is about to activate Ian.exe. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the Ute Protocol. I'm aware of this one. Dot <laughs> 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 com withdraws. The yeah. heat program. So, so, ba so basically, you are, you know, you fix your jump drive, but you are missing, but you are missing your rocket fuel to your maneuver, you know, engines. And again, you can jump, but you know, it's not a very good jump if you cannot escape when you get into the system. Like you still have. Mm. A little bit of fuel. You are next to the famous donut field, which is like a field of asteroids. There are some asteroids, and like doc the good doctor was uh, looking through the through the uh, old maps. Hmm. Do we have escape pods on the ship? Is uh, just as a question. Huh. Let's see on the plan if you have them. Oh, and if we're going to the if we're going to the plan, look at these brand new little icons. Uh, <laughs> that look, that Havrock himself Ooh. made. I can't I, I I can't move mine. I, I freaking love dot coms. Thank you so much, Havrock. It's so cute and obnoxious. 
I yeah. like this. I like this. Yeah, no. I, I can't good. move mine. You will be able to the sun. Ah, there, there we go. go. Wee, wee. It's the giant eye piloting the ship. <laughs> what's, this, what's this? What's this purple thing? Oh, that's mine. Sorry, sorry. Hold up, hold up. I'll get uh, that. That was actually mine. Hold up. Uh, it was the leftovers from when he was mucking about with the uh, the orb thing. So, oh, right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The discharge. How the hell did, how did you? <laughs> you don't <laughs> don't ask questions. You don't want to know the answer to. He goes to the bathroom to deposit it. Yeah. <laughs> Bathroom, bathroomsgifts.com, you know, a warning light saying that warning, possibly hazardous material. Warning, ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> well, that's, we well, that's, that's the better material. than that's better than definitely hazardous material. It's only possibly. So, I'm, I'm gonna give this like a 30% chance that this will be okay. Yeah. Two in the import, one in the outport, and <laughs> There you go. Did oh, that fix it? Oh, that's better. <laughs> I was, uh, if you, there's a if you if you curve if you curve up in the import, you'll see a small button. You just gotta you just gotta fiddle with that a bit. It's a bit. Yeah. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit I, funny, that, but... There's a lot of button here. It's 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 yeah, yeah, a little yeah. okay okay. <laughs> just gonna yeah no you just gotta tease around. it yeah just wiggle it wiggle it around a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't be too vicious with it. You'll, you'll yeah, break I it. Bet once you find it, and then it becomes Mr. Starcape. Mr. Starcape, please don't touch my cables. I think it's I think it's better now. <laughs> yeah, Trent. He's probably, doing it. <laughs> yeah, Trent. The computer's probably not into it. Speaking of I, which, <laughs> I think I found I think I found something that may interest you, uh, Mr. Starcape. What's there was that? that? There was that old mine on the asteroid back in back in my day. I don't and. Our scanners show that it's still around, so guess the corporates still didn't mind it entirely. Maybe we can find a material that I can use to, to make us more fuel. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Set in a course and we'll uh, I'll get us there. Uh, okay. .com is playing with the computer, and I think we're yeah. making sure that he's in incognito mode. That's why we rolled clay. Yeah, yeah, and, it, yeah. and it's now rolled a two. It's yeah. a two. It's a two, yeah. It's a two. So, uh, you haven't noticed anything. <laughs> well, back to the incognito tab. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Un unless, okay. I, unless you think I should re-roll <laughs> with a fate mm, point. No. No. Why re -roll? Incognito, incognito mode.com? You're really basic. I'm surprised you didn't have a galactic GPN. <laughs> Do we, please tell me that's a sponsor. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by GPN. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's it's basically Nord GPN, Nord Galactic you, Private Network. Do you think dot com has a v GPN? Of a GPN? You... Well, no, to be, I, well. G I went to service. <laughs> To be honest, the no. the, the incognito mode is just uh, for your benefit, not so much anyone else's. People can still track that stuff. I don't care. Here, he just tabs it and sends it all to you guys anyway. <laughs> Some uh, the, the whole ship suddenly moved. Thing, something hit it, like the, like a heavy object or something. But the radars didn't react it, like. Probably, probably, you know, Dren has has fallen down in the bathroom. I think, I think Frida also has fallen down next to the coffee vendor. Like, well, it's like you hit something, but you like there's no alert. Like, yeah, it's uh, mainly you know, probably like rocking around in, in the yeah. laboratory in the coffee. Usually, vendor, you know, and I'm just like usually finished, and I'm grabbing if, onto if, dear if, life. Usually, usually, if you know, ship would hit something. Like there would be alert on the ship, but it's like, it's like Nothing something happened. went out of the yeah, out of the radar. Oh. Well, that ain't right. What's going on? Uh, okay. Um. Dot com. Well, do we have like visuals outside the ship at any point, or, or like all the time? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. A little thing called a on the screen, you are, you are next to the asteroid field, like. Oh. 
should I give it another clever try or should I, we just say like we put it on screen or throw up the radar or something? Well, you, you can, you can do an, another clever roll. Yeah, make them use them, make them use them fate points, boy. <laughs> What are we doing? What's happening, sorry? Oh, Miles away. Apologies, um, my headphones cut out. Could you repeat uh, that? Yeah. Well, something, basically something hit the ship, but there was no alert, no anything. We don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like, it doesn't seem to do any damage, but it was, you know, big enough to shake the, sh shake the ship. So you are trying to figure out what happened. We're not in that asteroid zone yet, are we? You are close to it, but no, like it, it doesn't feel hmm. like you hit an asteroid. Hmm. Was there any any serious damage to the computer, or is it there... not really? Not really. The doctor is still there, but his search results doesn't show anything weird. And and uh, all of our equipment is functioning normally, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what are we what are we actually scanned for? When ships. we ships. All right. Um, can we send out a probe to see what hit us? Can you send out a probe? Tell me. Give me. Give me. Try to be smart, smarty boy. Okay. Okay. Um, clever roll. Clever. Could do a subspace scan. Well, someone wise once told me we can't just put sci-fi words in front of the other. We gotta actually. Me 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 me. We gotta actually put figure out something. So, <laughs> uh, tell you what, does any um, Dren? Yeah. You have like a toy car or something. You're really small. I'm just assuming you have childish things with you. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, lit. Let's see. I'll go and find something. I'm just gonna go and rummage for a minute. Um, Dren's gonna find like not really like a toy car, but he just like sees something like in like on like some sort of plate, and he goes, "Oh yeah, this will do." <laughs> Maybe like a piece of like hard bread or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? This goes here. It's just like uh, a piece of like a like a hard bread looking thing. Okay, okay. So dot this com will, dot com will uh, quickly put uh, like so no one's looking. He'll take off his goggle goggles, put on another pair of goggles, and then put his like camera special on the little toy and try to rig it so that it can float out in space a bit, and then send back a feed to the ship. Okay, sounds like sounds like clever roll four for me. Okay, well, I, that roll attempt was a three. Let's try. Yes, that uh, was mm -hmm. a three. Uh, can I use a fate point to make that a four? Yes. Although to be fair, this is a new sort of thing I'm making, right? That appears to run on some sort of electricity. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes, it does. So you're fast. Ah, he's not wrong. All right. So... I, I just want I, I just want to warn you that that you know that you won't be able to do it anymore in that scene. So this is your you know in this scene. Oh, yeah. Mm, you know, no, I, I, I like I like I like the bread. I like the bread probe. We're good. Okay. Do the toilets so, flash outside the ship? Obviously, obviously. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> he he takes the bread thing, puts it in the toilet, flushes it outside the ship. Okay. So basically, you get uh, uh, at the beginning you get a really disgusting side with all uh, uh, along with you know that weird. 
purple gooey thing you threw out of the of the ship. But you know, in the cold of space, it freezes pretty quickly. I'm just looking so, at this and like going and think, oh my god, thank it's a good thing that Dren hadn't been already. <sighs> Trent, you're not much better either. <laughs> so what happens is the bread probe is slowly flying towards the asteroids. The trying, bread probe. I love it. Trying trying to see what happens to the ship. And it notices that under your ship, attached with this like a plate-like object, you know, like a rusty brown, very small. It seems to be attached to your ship. <laughs> and <laughs> enhanced with the uh, .com special goggles. <laughs> yeah, like .com, .com and Trent you've seen those things i think frita could as well this is a very very you know good uh surveillance equipment like those things are used to essentially spy on ships oh they're I, pretty I'm expensive going, i'm going to activate my aspect of space warrior police maverick and can can i combine that with my clever yep so i'm gonna roll a clever and i'm gonna use my aspect to maybe add a bonus yeah, but what do you want to do? Well, I, I want to investigate that and take a closer look to see if that's something that I've recognized before in my time in the service. And remember, Space yeah, Warrior, the... Police Maverick, I was like one of the best. You don't need to roll. I, I'm just telling you, like, this is this is something that, you, that you've seen. That's, okay. You know, you don't need to roll for that. Like, <sighs> like you, fr you, you three did a lot of, you know, a lot of dirty work to know what, what is this. You, you hmm. saw those things before. Basically, most of the time you were the ones attaching it, it to something, but like they are really expensive, really hard to, to put on, and what does basic, it look like? Out of curiosity, a plate. It looks it looks like a pla plate platey object. It's it looks it, like it, basically it, one of those things. It could just look like just a loose plate, so no one would think about it. Yeah, so it's like one yeah. of those things. It's meant to not be seen, and yeah, Frita just kind of pulls up a. Pulls up a trouser and go like, "Yep, there's your problem. I recognize one of those. This t one I used to use those all the time. Well, I'm boned. I hope they don't know I'm here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Dot <laughs> com perks up boned. <laughs> and, and I'm just well, gonna say, I know I've done that. I'm gonna let you have though. that. What was that? I said, who put it there though? Is that what hit us? Well, either that or it became dislodged. Doctor says, Doctor says, I'm unfamiliar with that technology, sadly. It's after my time. But well, maybe there is there is some sort of cloaking device that I cannot cannot, you know, recognize yet. There might be a ship, cloaked ship, but maybe our scanners are not uh, you know, are not good enough to, to use it. After all, this this looks like more a like a pleasure barge than a fighter ship, really. Well, we gotta get rid of this plate, whatever, whatever it's. You know, it's not it's not gonna serve us any benefits. But I've got a nice little trick for dealing with these things, and I'm going to use my um, I'm going to use my my new advanced ability, Ace Pilot, and I'm gonna try oh. and. Because you said we're near the asteroid field. Yes. Ooh. I'm going to try and do a bit of skillful flying. Uh, and like, so you said the plate's like attached to the side of the ship. Yes. I want to try and do like some really slick flying and just scrape it, the plate against one of the asteroids and just knock it off. Keep in mind that this is the, the like, if you do it now, you cannot use that stunt again in this scene, but it's okay. It's, you can do that. I will. Okay, I will. Yeah, I will try because we don't. It seems like we don't want to get tracked. So, yeah. uh, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I call back. I call back the probe. Yeah, oh, so you call, call back the bread probe. The bread probe, you know, all all in 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 the space eyes. It looks it looks at you with with its goggles. Like 
you almost feel like it's your child looking at you, <laughs> asking, Daddy. asking you, asking you if you are proud of me, father. Dot com I did quiver. Yeah, yeah. Just that. I mean, in, like, just I'm in from... that moment, all alone in the bathroom. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. Not usually showing that kind of sensitive emotion. Breaks down, his lips quivering, looking at into the eyes of his own eyes on his newborn son. The bread probe almost, he almost imperceptibly thinks it's saying, Daddy? <laughs> Dot com. Uh, 1 in 50. Do you have any idea how many children I have on the Goblin Planet? Get back here, bread probe. <laughs> like it, like I said, it was a fleeting moment. <laughs> he, will, he will call it Brederick. Brederick? <laughs> yes! Come on back, Brederick. Come on, come on. Matthew back up. Brederick, Brederick is back. Brederick is back. Yeah. Back up the poop shoot. All right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I hit <hate> myself. <laughs> All right, Ace Pilot, do your thing. So. Oh, yeah, so you know, Trent. Trent is doing that awesome am, stunt. Yeah. He's gonna do um, slick maneuvering. Yeah. You know, like like we can we can see that maneuver made made by CGI and models. While you know, you have the, the Star Trek type of you know uh, all the, uh, the the bridge shaking. You know, you need like yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. your characters needs to pretend that something is shaking. You know, <laughs> and yeah, the thing is destroyed. Woo! We did it. I breathe yeah, a sigh of relief. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And I'm like. Shit. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get away from this type of thing. Hey, uh, could you uh, spin it so that it goes up the toilet and we can collect it so we can find out who sent it? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? He, Trent does that. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. we can send our we can send our probe up their poop shoot afterwards. Yeah. So, so what exactly do you want to do? What is it you're asking me uh, to to flick it or like like spin the ship so because dot com is using the the toilets as an Im yeah. impromptu like send and receive thing since I, I yeah. guess we don't have like an airlock so I want to get the pro I want to get the thing that probed us so that way we can find out where it came from. Ah, I mean, I mean you you do have an airlock, but but like <laughs> don't need to use the toilet, but this is funnier. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a pod, you have a pod bay, by the way. You can use, you know, you can use pod. But okay, I mean, you can use toilets. Like, I, I, I like when my my players go creative. Okay. <laughs> dot com, dot coms in the element. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. Uh, so, so we got it. Yes, you got it. You got it. Like, like I, you know, like I, I don't even, I don't even need to give you a roll to that. Let's let just, let just assume you had it. I I'm like gonna... the. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna suggest that we head to the conference room because we've never used it before, and I think this is a big, important matter of business that we need to know where this probe came from. I'll meet you guys in there. So, as Frita approaches the conference room, wait, 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 wait. The doors are uh, the doors are locked. The, 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 everything is is dark in in the room. So, Frita, uh, roll quick. Okay. Uh huh. So Frita Frita does the backflip and catches something in the air that's falling for her. It's it's a confetti bag. And the conference room opens, and you, you you can hear a very loud, "It's your birthday!" <laughs> and it's like plays plays, plays plays very very loudly. What? And you can see that apparently Opotson used this ship as his birthday art because there are still some leftovers from his birthday. I'm like, <laughs> oh, well, well. I'm guessing the galactic rolls kind of surpassed its, you know, you know, modus operandi and stuff. Like, what is the, what was Opotson's deal? So I'm just like, I'm looking, I'm just like, 
I like find a bit of the carpet or like the floor where it's really sticky and I'm like, oh, gross. And I just like, I, I just like trying to like, look at the clues, you know, just see what's around. So what makes this distinctive? Well, like, luckily, l l luckily, it was probably only a fizzy drink in, in the conference, ro conference room. Other than that, I think it's safe. I think he took all the presents and the gross stuff that could be here. I breathe a sigh of relief and I just sit down. I just sit down there at the front. Is there a window on this, like, on this side? Yeah, yeah, the, the, there is a scenic window. And okay. by the way, there are still some birthday hats. Rita is interested. Someone, sorry? A birthday hats. <laughs> a birthday hats. And I'm just like, yeah. birthday hats. I'll, I'll pick up the closest one. Yeah. So it looks like it resembles a cowboy hat. Yeah. And I'm just like, I just sit down. <laughs> I just sit down at the table, at the top of the table. I'm just like, put my elbow on it, look out the stars, and just like, this brings back memories. I used to hate all those conference meetings. Now I'm doing them myself. <laughs> Guess I'm kind of like the chief after all. And I'll never get that. So I'm just like in it's... contemplation waiting for the others to arrive. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, like dot com comes in. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> He, he found a party hat, a green one. He, the he, doctor he, chi chi chimes in on the monitor, also also being there. So, I'm guessing that who who is actually in pos and Doc comes in possession of the panel. Yeah. Okay. So, Trent is still flying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just looking at the panel, which is now on the table. Tre Trev, uh, Trev, uh, excused himself for a second. I assume he wants in here, but... Yeah, I think we can at least mute Put him in there for him. now. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought I'd actually see this type of thing again. Right. Well... Right. It's a new thing to me, Miss Rita. If we had any okay. uh, any connection to a police that a police databases, I could tell you more about this. But sadly, this isn't in my databases. I understand. I didn't expect you. I didn't expect you, Doctor. Just brings back a lot of memories. You see, I used to be. I used to be in the force, like a long time ago. I was one of the best. I had real high hopes to actually become the commander of the, Ga the Galactic Patrol. Seemed kind of great. There was this one guy named Jarko. He seemed a bit of like a nerd. But he was alright, really. But anyway, that's besides the point. In any case, I messed up big time. Now there are people people out there that want my head. It's pretty much the only thing I could do is just run away from the Force entirely. Now, just come crawling back to me. <sighs> well, you know, Miss Frita... I'm afraid that our rodeo has has just started. Yeah, I know. I didn't think I could run away from it much longer. I kind of just like peer over. I walk over to dot com like slowly and just kind of lean over to like see, just take a close look at the panel. Yeah. So the first thing you you two can see like, uh, is that this is panel is you know pr like pretty pretty old for, for those like it's one of the earlier ones like m maybe 20 years old it's like old and rusty so like probably probably it has its you know best days after it and whoever put it didn't really wanted it to be attached for long 
uh, dot com while Frida was doing her monologue. He was listening because um, he likes information, but he's also very interested in, in extracting all the information he can off it. So if there is no obvious way to connect it, he's doing his techno nonsense in order to Jerry rig something to pull all the information off. Is there a way? Uh, should I do a clever roll or? Yeah, sure, do the clever roll. Yeah, so basically, basically somebody have, had programmed a really easy command into it, like listen and send it to, to, to a position, which would allow you to track the position of a, a nearby cloaked, sh cloaked ship. The problem is that the ship could move. So it kind of confirms that there is a cloaked ship somewhere. Somewhere nearby. That's... Yeah. Very Give close me the... to you. I want the last three coordinates. Then we can triangulate a position, see if there's like a pattern that they're doing, <laughs> if it's a patrol or if they're traveling through and just grabbing stuff. They want to actually they're using their oldest tech to make sure that to make sure that this is not something that the police would actually be doing. They'd be using <laughs> cutting edge technology. They're using this old rust bucket of a probe. This is like 5, 10, 15 years old. I remember seeing this when I first started. I mean, this is quite clearly, they're trying to set us up by making it seem like some kind of podunk little kind of outfit of bandits just stole it or bought it on the black market. You know, nice try, fellas. You're not going to get past me, space police, police maverick. Just like, I'm like, just kind of like... Yeah, I was kind of like rem remorseful earlier. Now I'm just like, <laughs> you dummies. Dot com nods like res like approvingly, like really impressed by that deduction. Um, so there's no. Can I get? Can we get the information off of it, or is? Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you know the. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, what? Barely you've got hit. a filter. Barely yeah, you've got Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> Hello? Okay. <laughs> now, we can, now, now we can hear me. Okay. Uh, basically, basically what, what you guys are now, uh, what, uh, what you can do now is you know you know the uh, those coordinates that Dotcom was asking for, and I mean yeah, like you can try you can try to guess where the ship is. Like there's no exact way of telling where the ship went after it, especially that you know after uh, Trent did his whole maneuver thing, <laughs> they probably know that you know, you know. You know, they know that I know. you know, so... I know. Well, then we'll do us. I mean, if they know that we know, then they're panicking, right? He looks excitedly at, um... Uh, Frida. Huh? If they know we know, then they're tr they may be panicking and trying to get away. That means they're using, uh, you know, the big thrusters, the big, the big run. We can find that, can't we? Well, it depends. If they're trying to cover their tracks and make it seem like they're kind of just a bunch of bandits... They're hoping that we would go after them, thinking that they're nothing, and they will be jumped by some kind of major threat. They're gonna, it's gonna be some kind of big, badass police vehicle. So we better be prepared that we might be heading for some serious problems. So I would proceed with ca caution. You can hear that, that somebody is hailing uh, Trent on the screen. Hmm. Somebody's attempting to communicate. Trent will uh, answer. <laughs> uh, screen, voice only. This is the Galactic Roll. Who is this? Galactic Roll. What are you doing on our territory? Ah, well, you know how it is. We got a got a job from a big major corporation. Cut your shit, Mister Starkate. What are you doing on our territory? Ah, uh, 
how do you know my name? By that infamous on the other side of the galaxy? Mr. Starkate, you have a very rich history with some of our potential buyers. Like, what? So... <laughs> I'm well, pretty sure that Mandiati Conglomerate could p pay a lot for your location right now. I'm assuming to <laughs> tell what are you doing in our territory. We can be friends. Hey, well, right. what what does any good outlaw do in an in an hour? We're just looking to make a quick buck, you guys. We're just looking for some mines to find. We're just looking for some supplies to fix our ship. You know, nothing nothing too serious. Not here to rob you. <laughs> not not yet. In the conference you room, haven't... I'm just face palming. Oh, you, you <laughs> haven't you haven't you haven't robbed us yet, Starkid. But there are some people that we know. That you caused a lot of pro trouble, you know. The boss awesome. will need uh, the boss will need a lot of more than your sweet words. Wait, follow who's your our boss? ship. Follow our ship. Don't try anything funny, and you will land. Maybe we can strike a deal, Starkate. <clears throat> who's your boss? The queen will talk with you personally, Starkate. Once we land. Do I now? Oh, do, do I know this queen? Do I already know her? Or not? Not really. Like, like, you know many queens. This can be. Okay, yeah. this, this can be anyone. <laughs> you know like, what I mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I was like, um, okay. I'll, all right, I'll follow you for now. And he and his transmission is like, okay. I have I've had various dealings with different queens, guys. So this is either going to go really well or really badly. Well. <laughs> Depends okay. which queen. <laughs> well, let's just so hope badly. I have friends in high high places. That's all I can say. So, right, right in the front of you, a ship that's like twice bigger than yours. It's it looks like it's made of spikes and hydraulic arms. It's it seems to be a weird kind of space pirate g galleon, and it slowly leads you towards the asteroid field. But it waits wait, waits for the galactic role to follow. Uh, Trent will, for the time being, follow. Yeah. And uh. they they are taking they are taking you to to the biggest asteroid out there. And they are they are landing uh, in one of the craters, basically. Oh, is, this, is there a station here on the crater? Maybe. Wow. This all seems really familiar. It's like Trent's like thinking of through his many, many adventures. With many, many queens. And he's just like, yeah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> Uh, he's going to slowly approach the crater. <laughs> yeah. So, he flies in there and, like... Is there, goes... is, does there, like, to be any way that... Is there, like, any kind of opening that Trent might... Or is there no way? Because Trent is... If there's an opening, Trent will take it. And he'll just... He'll he'll, he'll fly in the... He'll, he'll, he's going to book her off. <laughs> But if it's absolutely I mean, no there would way. be flying, but Trent is clever en enough to that the asteroid, now that he's, you know, approaching slowly, there's a, a lot of automated turrets, like huge ones hidden in the yes. rocks. So it's not, yeah, there's no, there's no benefit. He probably won't risk it then, because obviously yeah, he's a good pilot, but if he, if he, if he sees all those turrets, be like, nah. It's... Like, you know... The depth of the crater's move to show a huge hangar door. And the ship has already landed, and you can see like 20 of those ships up there. A like whole armada. And, 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 and Trent has a feeling that this isn't the full. Isn't the full what, sorry? The full set, the whole oh. fleet. Yeah, Trent's just gonna, gonna close into the, into the ship, fly into the hangar. Is that they want me to go in the hangar and land? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's gonna do that. He's gonna, he's gonna like 
Okay, guys, better brace yourself. <laughs> Things are gonna get uh, interesting. <laughs> and he's gonna fly into the hangar and, yeah, land it. Textbook landing. Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 Oh.
Also, .com, .com has no problems of torrenting the code because he's in the pirate, pirate bay. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's actually that's actually the, the exclusive way to read the comic. You you can't actually buy them. You you have to pirate yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're that Sorry, ultimate a pirate. Basically, if they're you the... bought the comics, you were a sucker. Yeah, you're a total sucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if the, if if at the school, say, like, hey guys, I bought the latest. Yeah, I bought the latest comic. <laughs> oh my god, you Idiot. bought one. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> all the cool people know that you're supposed to, they're supposed to pirate it. Sucker. Disclaimer: We do not uh, we do not encourage pirating content. No, we don't. That calm it's, does. It, it's in, it's used in comedic, you know, uh, comedy guys, comedy, comedy, yeah, comedy. satire, comedy, comedy. So I'm not saying guys, what dot com says about comedy. Yeah. So basically, you can see that. One of the ships is starting to empty, and you you can see four guys coming to to to, to your ship. Okay. <laughs> okay. They don't they don't all look like this icon. It's meant oh, to here's, the here's me thinking. Here's me thinking. It was like Assassin's Creed where they got to take a finger off. It's like they've all got to take out an eye. Uh, Maybe. No. Maybe. Except that, that one yeah. on the right. He's just wearing it for show. Well, I'm moving <laughs> away from these people. Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, most of them, not not all of them, but most of them, are, uh, they belong to very tall, grey-skinned race with long tails and horns. <clears throat> kind of like pterodactyl people, but not really. And like, uh, like one of one of them is like a is, is like a huge hippo hippo man. But like, like two like the the one the officer the one with you know the officer insignia is one of is that pterodactyl man and one of his guards is as well. And like they seem to be in you know a welcome committee. And they are waiting for you to leave the ship. Yeah, I thought we. we uh, I thought we were already off the ship. I thought we had. Or is this like the hangar? <laughs> you are. St yeah, you are still in the hangar. Like, looking, by my understanding, we're looking at the hangar from your. Basically. And you can. And uh, you haven't left your sh the safety of your ship yet. Oh right. Well. I'd say I, I walk up to Trent and I'm like, well, do you want to go and check it check it out? See if these guys. Are Hell real? yeah! Let's go! Let's go! So I think Trent so, and I will, will be the officer. Body. Officer looks at uh, the the pirate officer looks at looks at Trent. He's like you know, he's like it's almost twice as tall as Trent, and he's like. Uh, Starcade, I thought you would be taller. Ah. Trent's just like, well, you know, I am once I shoot your kneecaps out. Trent pulls out his gun and aims it immediately at him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Stand guy the, 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 the guy looks at looks at Trent and it's like you have eye or kid, I like this. Trent Trent smiles back. He's like Hopefully Thanks. But the Captain hate the the Captain Queen hates jokes. Remember that. So quite a rectic two uh, crew you have. You ha you have here Stargate. Oh yeah. I wonder, I, I, what can I, wonder, I say? Beggars can't be choosers. I wonder. I wonder how much Mandiati would pay for, for you, and maybe maybe Vineta Empire. Vineta Empire would pay us a little bit and as well. Now listen, that, that whole thing with the Vineta Empire—that was a misunderstanding. I was simply just in the area looking for, you know, a good club. Ended up stealing. Oh no no no! Starkate, Starkate, Starkate. They st Mandiati still give give us better price than v Vineta. We don't mean you. We mean the girl. 
He smiles. I'm, I'm <clears throat> looking at Trent with disbelief. Wait, you had something to do with that? Ah, uh, no. You and I'm no, just, I'm nothing, nothing. On, you had and something to do with me. You. There is no. Uh, there is nothing to tell how this goblin has faced. But we are in a good mood. We will be, as we as we call it, the good spicy terrians today. What? Do you mean as, by that? what? A spicy spicy terrians. That's an old term. You probably you probably have spicy terrians, like Kevin Spacey. I think they made what? it up. Yeah, they probably themselves. Made it. Yeah, yeah. They look they, 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 like the, the officer size. You are you aware that you are the most wanted crew in the whole known space? The corporates want you alive. In the whole known space. What about outside? What what about the unknown space? Well, nobody uh, knows. That depends. Who knows knows. That depends on your corp cooperation here. You see, we don't love the corporates, and it's because of that little d argument we have with the corporates uh, that you are still standing here and are not sold to them yet. Well, so. Okay. So. You say that you don't like the corporates, right? Not really. Well, let's just say that we don't like them either. You see, how we got this ship was due to the fact that we thought we could trust the corporates. We were testing out their big fancy ship. Turns out- I literally never trusted them for a, for a microsec. Oh, I'm just using- I was for just in it for the money. And be, <laughs> and be quiet, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> The point is, is that we don't like them either. We got played. It was a miracle that we even got out of this alive. We just come from a part of the galaxy that was uncharted, and the fact there was a space graveyard there with ships like this and crews like this that died. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that we don't like corporate that much. So I think we got something that we can agree with. Mm. Mm. Boy, do we have an offer for you. Okay. What's the offer? Just just before before we go further. Four rules. Do not speak unless she tells you. Do not allow the goblin to talk unless she tells him. <laughs> <laughs> do not Damn. Do not, do not try to be as smart as Sky Starkate. She hates it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, if by any means, you will fail to, to uh, fail to fail to do this, we will cut out a testicle out of the goblin, and we will feed it to you, Starkate. Do you understand it? Deal. Right. Okay. What? Okay. She's a bit of a stuck up. And Fre and Frieder is just like, yeah, thumbs up. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> She's into some kinky shit. All right. Deal. And, 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 and like, look, you can you can, you, can, you can see one of the one of the one of the uh, like you know maintenance worker pirates who is like a chaos goblin, and he shakes hand and like like. She just sadly gestures around his crotch, and he's like, and he looks at like you. It's not as cool as you think, bro. Oh, I just need to know the safe word, and we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com visibly excited at the weird stuff <laughs> and the blatant racism that she's apparently showing towards us. <laughs> yeah. So I think, I think we should. I think we can trust him. Sounds good. <laughs> So you are being escorted to the <clears throat> to, 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 to to the welcoming area that like right, you are getting moved basically. Yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's this little room. Let's assume that you're all here. What? Uh, 
while we're walking, um, you mentioned many, many times that not only are they using old tech, they're using a lot of old slang. Can I like yeah. scan the area and see like, are they using all like analog and like weird digital, like non-digital stuff to avoid tracking? Yes. Or yes. is this like, yeah, th this is this is definitely different. Yeah, Ooh. it looks like Ooh. it basically looks it looks like a piece of art. Like this station is pretty pretty damn old. It might be an old mining station, but it was changed to like a vault of you know a vault of of the thieves. Like you see you see two very tall mooks guarding the welcoming cow. And um, yeah, and uh, is. Now this is just me as a player and like yeah. story. Like, uh, do I rec? Like, is there any chance that we can recognize just like a mook, just so that I know that they are, they're currently from like this time? Because you keep mentioning all this old stuff, and the gears in my head are turning. So I, I just want to make sure. No, no, like, yeah. like for sure, like they, like they have a pretty modern tattoos, you know, okay. like. Yeah. Some of them, some of them have, have like some some corporate music players and stuff, like the younger ones, mm -hmm. for sure. It's not, it's not like, a, yeah, it's, it's not it's a time not like travel a, thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a throw. It could look like this, but nope. Okay, so it, it's definitely uh, purposely looking like an ancient place. Now, yeah. um, it, is it mostly analog or like are the, is the um, or is there any equipment on the log that's digital uh, around here? Like, th there is some digital thing, but, it, they, like, they have their own web that you cannot, like, you cannot easily, you know, snack into, snack okay. into the web due to, uh, due to the fact that they have the, their own network. Okay, that, that's all I want to know. Deep web, their own deep web. Thank you. I, I just wanted to know uh, where we stood. So thank you. Yeah. So through the corridor, a very tall uh, woman is walking. Like she's she's one of this pterodactyl esque people. She has that. She has a very long tail, like pointy ears, horns, like a face a face that's kind of. May kind of resemble a, a big if she didn't have if she didn't have a nose, and she look she looks at at you, uh, Trent. Trent and... just kind of Trent just kind of sort of nods and just kind of smiles because he he he's actually quite enamored. <laughs> he's like, oh okay, <laughs> yeah. She looks. She, she looks at 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 her officer and is like, "Is it it?" Yes, yes, your highness. These are the people. So, let me get it straight. These are the four people that corporate are getting mad over. She she comes close closer to Trent, looks at him, and is like, "You smuggler boy, explain yourself." You know, in this like ominous, terrifying light, you're pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trent, Trent, a Trent, a quick roll, a quick uh, yeah, a roll for quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two seconds. Uh, da, 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 da. Raul. Oh, three. Okay. Wait. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> well, I'm re-rolling that. <laughs> oh. Ah, there we go. I was, so, gonna, I was gonna say, can I spend a point? But it won't make any difference. Yeah, basically, basically, Trent gets slapped by the tail, and tail like holds holds his throat, and that you know, spiky next to neck. 
I didn't ask you for assessment <laughs> of my looks. I ask you other question. Answer, lizard. Okay, first of all, racist. Second of all... <laughs> 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 um, what does she ask again? What we're doing here? Yes, like, you have to... And why are you so expensive to... Like, what... Why the corporates will want to get you? Because she clearly hasn't been like, brought Trent, up by her officers. Trent, Trent is like, well, you know, look at me. Who wouldn't pay top dollar for this? You think you're funny, but you're not. She smiles. <laughs> Trent smiles back. Trent's loving it. <laughs> this is this is Trent's element right now. He's not giving up the information. <laughs> I'm basically just rolling my eyes and just thinking, oh. Don't be jealous. <laughs> I just give him... I look daggers, since I know I'm not out of speed. I'm just giving him, like... Rrr. Well, you know, they pay top dollar. You get a top... You get a top-class smuggler. I don't see one here. Oh, man, that's just hurtful. And I'm just, like... Maybe you, maybe maybe you will be more talk talkative. She, she looks at Frita and like in visibly increases the grip on on Trent. Oh, you can carry on. I'm not particularly enamored of that guy. Ah, she says that. She's just playing hard to get. Yeah, you think that. So it's getting very very hard to breathe. Like Trans, trans maintaining his smile. <laughs> yeah. So, how how can I be of service? I talk to. Tell me. What's so special about you that Dorai Aki is waking scared, uh, scared in the night? Oh really? And wants to get you. Oh really? I'm surprised as well. The top dog himself, eh? Well, I got two words for you. We survived. Interesting. Something we can all get behind, right, boys? And she looks lo looks at her pirates, especially the ones from her species. <laughs> Goblins, disgusting. <laughs> While she's while she's like, take. I know she's still got Trent with her tail, but yeah, I assume they didn't. Have, they they haven't took our weapons off of her or anything. I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while she's kind of looking over, um, at Fritter, Trent is gonna like reach for his blaster, I guess. <laughs> uh, in this case, I think it will be forceful because, like, it. it you are gripped pretty damn hard. Okay, we'll try forceful. And uh, that. Oh, um... no. Nope. Mm. You just wiggled. Like, it looked like, you know, like... It like, it looked like you will get that cinematic scene. Would, would I not... Was it not yeah. improve it if I tried for a... Uh, if I tried... If I spent a point and got it to a four? Maybe. Maybe then. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll spend a point. Okay. They trying to, I'm trying to. Not, I'm trying to get because he's. I'm trying to use my trigger happy, because like, yeah. he's uh, he's gonna just. And my plan is just get the gun out and point it at her head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and she pull. She pulls. She pulls uh, your trigger, and you can see that she just has a black smooch on her on on, on her forehead. Oh, he's like, he's like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> Cranial implant. I can see. Who was your guy? Very well done. Maybe if we like you, we can get you one like this. Listen. And she looks at she looks at Frita. Dorai Aki's family destroyed my planet. I would pay pay, pay any price to get that little rat dead. So it makes me curious. To see that he's actually afraid of someone. 
So you want the big guy dead. We want the big guy dead. I mean, it seems like we've got a common enemy here. Indeed. Indeed we do. And I know a potential ally that could help you to get to, to get to the big guy. Who's bad. that? You know, every fairy tale needs is needs its rebels, right? Fighting for a better tomorrow. There are idealistic losers, but they can prove to be useful. I yeah, you're not wrong there. I actually remember this one heist I had to pull off, but it, the security was just ridiculous. So what I did was found the local resistance, got them all rallied up in a frenzy. They drew out all the guards, putting on this big attack. I was just able to sneak in, rob them from everything it was worth. Yeah, I idealists, man. I, I walk over to Trent and pat him on the shoulder. I think she was talking about you. Yeah. Uh, what? I'm not an idealist. <laughs> Trent is a fuck. Three on about. Trent is literally the opposite of that. Well, it seems I like, like to think Trent said that in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and well, she looks. Exactly. She, she, and, and, and like she, she looks. She, she looks at each of you and is like, "I can provide you contact with the resistance." Oh, yeah, yeah. Resistance is good, guys. You just, like, you just, you can basically, if it's for the, if they think it's for their cause, you can get resistance to just about anything. What, but... what kind of resistance? I'm, I'm basically probing because this might maybe help out with my aspect friends in high and low places. Yeah. Like, essentially, you heard that there is, like, some galaxy wide resistance. You know, like, like when you, when you're a policeman, you, you police, but then you were kind of taught that they are terrorists, but basically that are trying to, you know, to to not really fought, fought with the empires, but to throw down the corporations that control even the empires. So, yeah, so, so you never quite got any theory where the headquarters might be since every, almost everything is charted and well observed, but somehow from time to time there were some acts of, you know, acts of quote unquote terrorism that were attributed to, a, to some rebel group. But the corporates wanted wanted everyone to forget about those pretty quickly. And while you never had a friend in in the resistance, uh, you had you, you you had someone who sympathized with the whole idea, basically. Like, uh, I will let you invent that person. I will just say that they kind of uh, th one day they disappeared, and you felt that they might lose their job because of their views on on the whole case okay yeah it seems like, <clears throat> it seems like the people that you're talking about i think i know who you i think i know what you're saying i used to work with him you could kind of say i kind of emulated his kind of footsteps the guy he was the inspector that first gave me a chance down on the force he was the guy that thought i had potential to be a cop he believed in me and Unfortunately, no one else believed in him. So, not long after I got there, they fired his ass. Oh, he hated that. And I wasn't too sure where he went, but I kept seeing pictures of all the resistance from what I could tell when we were kind of investigating it. I swear, every time I saw pictures, you know, he was there. I know it. I know that the guy that gave me a chance is just waiting for me to come to him. That's why I was kicked up the force. No wonder. Normally, if, you know, whatever happened to me happened, I'd just get a like slap on the wrist and tell him not to do it again. No, I got fired. I got made into a refugee, a fugitive, all this Girl, kind of stuff. You monologue way too much. She looks at Rita. 
Oh, I know. I have awards for that. But all I'm saying is, I think we'll get along just fine. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And uh, she leads you further into in, into the asteroid base. I will come. I will contact you with the agent, of, and then we could. We could we could discuss how you will go how you you, you are going to act. There are two four rooms that are for your disposition. If I see you doing anything funny, I I will use any means necessary to remind you that while you are my guests, you need to abide by certain rules. Are we clear, Goblin? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting picture. Just to freak her out a little, he'll put his like face against the door and stick out his tongue and just kind of like. <laughs> if, if please tell me, there's like a little window or a panel or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just playing up the stereotype. Hopefully, she won't look in here anymore. Or you know what? Actually, yeah. Dot com is going to try to discuss his. Uh, Escorts so much that they're not going to look inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, thinking I'm, about, I'm thinking about the role. I think about the role for that. It's uh, and even it might be clever. Case, yeah. Flashy. <laughs> Fla maybe flashy. Yeah, yeah. Give me some flashy. Okay. <laughs> And I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna jump in on the flashiness to try and really sell the fact that it's disgusting. So I'm jumping okay. in with that. Ooh, yeah, okay. And I'm like, so I'm like doing it as well. So I'm kind of like we're combining our points to make it really like like. So I'm just in the cell going, oh god, really? Oh god, I'm just over the top, just going, like, oh, oh, really? He mouth he mouths at her. It's not mayonnaise. <laughs> And uh, that just makes me just kind of just like, <laughs> just like almost like dry retching, <laughs> like and then just kind of like you know, surreptitious wink. Dot com uh, gives her a thumbs up, and then uh, I'm going to examine my room and see what dot com can play with in here. Okay, why do you do that? I want to compel Dren actually. I want to compel your overzealous pranks there, like those pirates mm. who haven't seen you know, any of your wonderful pranks. Mm. What am I gonna do? What could, like, be funny? By the way, there are way more moogs, like, this This just symbolizes, you know, there are... Mm. Do they like statues? Do they move? They move around. They move. They they, they move around. They patrol. Essentially, they are mm. they are set to patrol around here. I want to like, I don't know, just like, you know, kick some stones about and like try and trip people up with them. Just like, you know, if there's like any rubble okay. on the ground because it's like old, or anything like that, maybe some string. Just try and you know, trip some people up. Dren's like, oh, this is like, what is going on? And he doesn't really, he doesn't really understand that. He just wants to, you know, I, I'm thinking if, make if something it would be, happen. If it would be sneaky or maybe carefully placed, you know, sneaky or careful. yeah, yeah, carefully yeah. placed. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Okay. Give, give me, give me careful roll. Careful roll. Ooh, I got a three in careful. Bloop. Well. You, you you got one of the the, the mooks. He he tripped over, and <laughs> he seems to be really angry. And he's like, "Okay, who put that? I'm going who to put that there? I'm going to compel yeah. Trent with his aspect. Fellas, can't we talk this out to try and like appease the mook? Yeah. Okay, give him give, give Trent the point the fate point there then." Uh, can I do that? Yes. Yeah, that's how it works. So you're in, you're making 
you so you're play in... fate point with, with compel, yeah. Yeah, you're giving you're compelling my fate. So you give you have to give me one of your fate points. Oh yeah, no, gladly. I... How do I do that though? Oh, you drag your fate point. And... Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Accept trade. So now I take the point and basically I've got... What, what, what did you want me to do? Like... Basically, use your aspect, fellas, can't we talk this out? As in, like, you know, use your way to kind of, like, you know... Trying to talk it out with a very, because... very furious... Yes, well, so you cut out there. Yes, no, uh... basically, yeah, this guy's pissed. So we need you to calm him down. Who, this guy? Yes. Yep. Why is he pissed? I'm sorry. I was... Because, because Dren, Dren... Dren yeah. tripped him over. Yeah. <laughs> also, a ref accept the trade. Oh. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I did. Accept Didn't I? Trade. No, 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 no. Uh, Trev, Trev, because I was completely from earlier. Oh right. Okay. Dunzo. Oh, so I've got four fate points now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Trent. Uh, uh, Trent uh, just sort of leans, leans over and is like, "Hey, hey, now, buddy. Listen, the guy. The, he, that was clearly an accident. I mean, the foot yeah. came out." You think you're funny? Everyone keeps Beep. saying that. I'm just, uh, I'm just a businessman, my friend. Just trying to look out for number one. But look, it, look, we're we could be potential allies. Okay, you're not gonna want to hurt the kid here because if you do, big boss queen's not gonna like it, is she? You're gonna, you could potentially ruin a good thing we got going on. Get if, word from the queen before you smush his face in. If he does this again, I'm gonna I, I I'm gonna ask the queen to pull me the on you. That's totally fair. I'm sure my friend won't do it again. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna do it again. You have and, uh, and he just scout, walks scout away. Got, he like, just walks fingers. away and got my fingers behind me, but I crushed like <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't notice that he dropped something, actually. Uh, Dren's going to pick it up. Yeah. It looks like a data, data pad, maybe, but in a language you don't know. Oh, sweet. I'm going to give it to .com. Yeah. And now we can, hey. we can we can talk about what .com has in So, they didn't put any sort of electrical stuff in there. Like, literally, there are, you know... Mm -hmm. there, there are no electric lamps there. Mm -hmm. Just, just fuel, fuel lamps over there, like like a barrel. Mm -hmm. Some old uh, painting paintings of the ships. And mm -hmm. and a sta and and a small s small statue of the queen, uh, carving a goblin with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, did they give me a bed? Yes, you, you, I, I told you have a butter. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, he takes off the sheet, like grabs the statue, turns it around, uh, throws the sheet on top of it, and then like um, he's gonna rig up like a small thing, basically to make it look like he's entertaining himself under the sheet so that no one's looking in here. Um, then I'm gonna look at the walls. Is there any kind of ventilation or any sort of? Um, yes, there has to be. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, um, cracks knuckles. I'm sure we're allowed in there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to either pry or like uh, unscrew or open up the vent system. Oh, by yeah. the way, what did what did Dren give me? By the way, I gave I you the like the the, the looks like, like an old data, data pad. Data pad that the guard dropped. Looks mm. more more like a pager, really, but. Yeah. yeah, like a yeah, some, something like that, like a communicator or you know, like like a like a mobile computer thing interface device. All right, you can you work on that for me? Well, or is he allowed in my room, or can he come into the room? Yeah, yeah. They, they never, never said that you, you guys can. Yeah, we're not. Oh prisoners. wait, we. Oh, you are guests. Okay. All right, you work on that. And okay. I'm going to I'm going to play around with the scanner pad thing. What do you, what secrets do you have, little Missy? <laughs> uh, clever to see what's on the device or what I can do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Difficulty five. Ooh. Um. Hmm. I would like to spend a fate point to reroll that, please. Okay. Hmm.
Mm. Ah, well, uh, how much I can do with this, but sticky fingers. Yeah, what's it? There is there is still that vent that you guys can check. Yes. Okay. Uh, Dren, is your what's your forceful? Oh, I just swapped it. Oh. Last session. You want um, me to roll? You want to compel me to roll? I'm. Uh, mine's a two, so it would be better. Yeah. But if, if we're if if we're all allowed in the room, um, hmm. Keep in mind that they may, might want to check if all four of you suddenly are in the room. So, mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. well, I'm gonna go and wait in my room. <laughs> Um, dot com goes back to his window, uh, looks around. Are the guards looking? Not, not now. Okay. Uh, he's gonna like, uh, wave over Frida. Hey, what's up? He points at the vent, uh, and then he, he, uh, he's like, can you, uh, can you take care of that for me? Sorry, I was too busy kind of trying to distract myself from all the disgusting things you were doing. What do you want me to do exactly? Get that open. I, I'm sure we're allowed in there. <laughs> okay. You better not be doing what you do. So I'm like, I'm going to use... Uh, one second. My thing came uh, came loose. Let's see. Carrot shoot. I'm going to use a forceful to mm-hmm. see if I can pry open the vent. It is a one, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Unless... Oh, my... oh! Uh... Okay. I'm gonna try and use a stunt that I've got now I leveled up mm-hmm. to try and I think activate my stunt weapon of choice. So once per session, Frita can create a weapon out of the surroundings. Roll flashy, and that depends on how powerful it is. So if it's minus one, <laughs> it's junk. I yeah. mean, technically, we can call like like we can we can extend it to tools, and there is a knife on that statue that you can probably use to pry the bars. Where where is the knife again? On the statue that uh, Dotcom has covered with. Okay. Sheets. Well, basically, it's weapon tool. It's just something that can be used. Yeah. Yeah. So you take the knife from the statue. And basically, it's like I roll flashy, and yeah. if it's minus one, it's junk. Not to two, kind of works. Yeah. Three to five, very good. And if it's six, then basically this is just like a god mode tool or accessory. Right. Give us okay. a roll. Give us a roll. It's a two. So basically, eh, it's fine. Yeah. Basically, it's a I do, tool. It, it does what I want it to do. Yep. Yeah. Um, so basically, I'm just here, kind of like, just taking the knife, kind of go, ching, 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 ching. Got, got a tool. I'm like, I use that to pry open the bars. Yeah, you do that. And like, There's a very, very cold breeze and smell of dead space rats. Uh, so basically, Frita, the, uh, the, all that sense of satisfaction has blown away in the wind. Much like what I'm smelling right now. Ugh. And I'm almost wondering. Smells to... like home. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm feeling very nostalgic right now. Okay, well, then you won't mind if I just kick him down the vent. <laughs> ah, he takes his hands and just wafts it into his face. Okay, question Where does he want to go? There are uh, vents well... to the left and vents to the right. Bread probe, come out, my son. I'll take out bread probe and uh, put my glasses on it. And since now I have a communicator, um, I will send the probe through it to see if there's any uh, things that we can spy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to find the queen, listen in on her conversations. Again, where do you want to go, left or right? You don't know where is the queen. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, Right. 
I suppose. As in right. north, I, I guess is what yes, I'm trying to yes, say. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay. So basically, what it where it takes you is here. Uh, wait, I need. You are in this corridor. You can you can kind of see that that the MOOC activity is kind of big around this this one room. Like like so, like they are patrolling there. One of them is reading the pirate monthly. You know. <laughs> uh, he checks uh, what issue it is. Make sure that uh, uh, you know, just in case Dren wants it for later, or not Dren Trent. Excuse me. Hmm. What issue it was? No, never mind. Moving on. Uh, the, the new, the newest one. The newest one. Newest one. With, right, uh, with the with the ten with the ten hottest pirates in the galaxy, basically. Is uh, Trent on it? <laughs> Hell no. Bad news, <laughs> bud. Hmm? Yeah. You didn't make it this time. So uh, oh. so basically, what you can gather uh, from the smell, you 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 like you think that further north might be a kitchen or a mesa because you can feel. You can feel like smell of smell smell of meat and veggies. Um, I sent bread probe. How am I smelling that? Or is it? Am I? Is my nose just that good? You're yeah, you goblin. You, 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 you. Okay. Um, it'll. I'll ha I'll send the probe in the opposite direction of the smell. Ping me, ping me, ping me. When where do you want to send it? Mm. Um, over here. Over here, okay. Uh, the, pr the problem is you would have to send the probe out, out of the vents because they they are not connected. Oh, this okay. This part of vents is not, not oh, connected. Like, okay, I understand now. I thought, I thought there yes. was like some kind of, like literally what I'm saying is what is possible. Okay. No, 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 no. Like, like yeah, like you can go here, here, yeah. Yeah, you, you are close to, to that black space. Around okay, there, I apologize. Basically. Yeah, all no right. Problem, so I'll... No problem. I didn't expand it too well. Uh, let's go forward then. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, you can you can try and open, you know, here. Maybe they won't. Uh, let me think. Here, yeah. If it's here, where you if... here where you are at the at the moment, you may try to open and send the bread probe further. It, it took them. It took Frida just to open it, so I don't think he's capable. But you know what? Dot com is is it gives the middle finger to bad boundary, so sure he'll give it a quick test to see if it can be done. Uh, but if not, then he'll come back and explore. I guess down here. Okay, I I would say I would say forceful. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Wow, my son! <laughs> I severely nice. I do. Bread probe doesn't want to let daddy down. <laughs> Bread probe. Yeah. Good job, Brendan. So you can basically, basically, you 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 open the door and you see. Luckily, they didn't. So you see a mook with you know with a food cart. He delivers foods to you know to your to 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 your rooms. It's kind of it's kind of a stew. And it also delivers delivers the food to to other pirates. So yeah, like North is pretty much kitchen. Oh, uh, scan the room for um, any hazardous materials. Which one? Uh, that we're in the kitchen, right? Uh, I mean, you're not in the kitchen. You you know that North is the. You open the door, so you, you are here, right? Yeah. So um, if you go, here is the kitchen, yeah, like you 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 okay. basically. You are not there yet. All right. Um, can bread? Uh, would bread probe encounter somebody going north, or can he, like it go? Can he go north unperturbed into the kitchen? You might try it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will. I will roll sneaky f f for your bread probe, but that would be a sneaky, uh, hidden sneaky. Uh, nope. Call bread probe back. <laughs> not. Not doing that. Okay.
So we, uh, I, I tell Frida what I discovered. All right, what you got? All right, so the kitchens are up there north. They're, we're supposed to be, they're supposed to deliver food to us at a short amount of time. Um, and the other room over here is some kind of break room. Is that right, Hav? No, not not really. Like you saw, like you saw some uh, heavy, uh, heavy amount of the mooks. You didn't have a chance to really peer into the room, but it's heavy guarded. It's kind of important. Oh, there was a guy reading before it. Yes, but like, 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 basically, those are, are temporary. But this place, all the time, all the time patrolled, all the time guarded. It might be important. Okay. So I would like to peer into that room a little bit more then. Okay. So what what you saw is basically a lot of boxes and crates. Looks like some sort of warehouse. It's uh, hard to say what, what they keep there. Scan for uh, bio, bio life, as in like heat signatures and radioactive materials then. Uh, radioactive materials, yes, life forms, no. Mostly weapon, mostly weapons, like energy-based weapons, and that's what's giving off the radiation. Yes, uh, stuff like mining drills, well, tools, uh, also food. Uh, insignias. Is this stolen from somewhere? If it was, they put it in their their own. It's their own crates. Okay. Yeah, into their own crates. Can I tell from like the radiation given off, like how high grade these are, or like uh, is this like standard, like eh, like Dren would or like Trent would be carrying this around, or is this like military? Not grade? really, not really. Like this, like this, this is like the the stormtrooper weapons, you know. Like this isn't like some very high. Basically, like basically, it seems like it's it's warehouse. And they're important to them, but it seems like that they are not keeping their most valuable stuff here. It's like a little bit of everything there, really. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I will relay that too. Uh, and also, Frida. and also, you learn that some here are you know need uh, radioactive food to survive, which is also kind of important. Radioactive what? Radioactive food. Radioactive there some, food. Yeah, there are some races that, you know, so you can oh. kind of pinpoint that some of the pirates mu must must survive on this this kind of food. Understood, understood. All right. Well, Let's I'll, give, just, yeah. I'll just tell Frida that then. Yeah. Why you are doing that, what's Trent doing? Trent's just... Chilling in his uh in his little cell. <laughs> Trent's okay. not, you know, Trent's not doing anything. So basically, why why he's doing this? Somebody, he, he can hear that somebody walked into the d door, and somebody slided, slided something under the door, like a, like you know, an envelope. envelope. I'm under my door. Yeah. Okay, Trent will pick up said envelope and give it a cheeky open. So we all remember the the dog guy from before from the flashback from oh, from the from the complex on the planet. So the photo shows him with like some sort of prosthetic on his face, like very, very Beaten up, very, very thin. The, like the, the, the photos look like they're made from so, some sort of surveillance camera, not not around here, in some sort of weird mine, like a very, very dark mine with like with a pickaxe in chains. What? This is like Trent's Trent's kind of caught off there. He's like, but. Wait, what? And uh, he's going to go to the door and see if he can, like, find out who posted it. No, whoever this was is no longer there. 
just thinking of his name. I'm trying to think of a good name for him now. <laughs> Yeah, like, 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 I, I, like, I basically not don't imagine his as Chewbacca, but more like a huge Bernard dog-like man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Bernie. Bernie, yeah, his name's Bernie. Yeah, yeah. Bernie, Bernie's alive. What the? Yeah, they, data stamp shows that he said this has been done like a week ago. And it was what was it, was it taken here that that picture? No, 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 no. Clearly not. It looks like like you know this place. Basically, this place is uh, the the Mandiat uh, conglo Mandiati conglomerate home system is called the Mandiat, and this basically most of the life on this planet like they hate they hate light so they live underground so this is the world of underground tunnels like they mostly mine live in the tunnels and the only places that have light are uh are either because their slaves kind of do need light they live in absolute darkness those guys right, you've right. been there once you don't want to return basically if there's any place that you know gives strength ptsd it would be that Freaking planet. Man. So Trent is just going to be a bit blown away by this, and he's going to, yeah, I guess he's going to put the, uh, fold it up, put it in his pocket. And hello? Yeah. Oh, he's going to be really quiet then for a second. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so with you. So those mines that we're going to, that's where. Is that where he is, or is it, are these different mines? Different mines. You are on the asteroid. This is a very different place. Somebody, mm. somebody just put you, just gave you, uh, just just gave you, you know, the, the location while you were mm. here. Like, you, but you don't know if it was one of the pirates, if it was somebody on your crew, if there's someone else other than you on this, mm. in this base, you don't know. Yeah, Trent's just going to, uh, he's going to stall out of the way for now and just not, he can't do much else for that information. He's still locked in this cage, so. He can go out whenever he can, really. Oh, okay. Uh, then, yeah, uh, Trent's going to. I mean, I mean, he can, you can visit the others, basically, in their rooms. All right. Uh, yeah, he's, no, he's probably going to keep this to himself quite honest because he doesn't, they're not going to know. So, yeah, he's yeah. going to. He's gonna keep it to himself for now. Yeah, one of the one of the mooks brings brings him food. He also brings like food to everyone else. It's a stool with some bread. It's pretty good stool. Like they're not trying to poison you. They they're feeding you pretty well. Like it's not a, not not a shitty food. Like mm. they're they're treating you with with some sort of respect. Even dot com. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, yeah, so uh, like some time passes. Do you guys do anything? Do you are trying to, or in the meanwhile, or, or, or do you let the time pass? Um, during the, the uh, during while you know we got a bit of time passing, I want to try and access the tablet that I uh that I got. Okay. Um. Do I need to roll, or do I just like you know smack? Yeah, it and give, press give, a bunch give, of buttons. Give me some clever roll. If you are doing that, you are it, it's force. Um, I'm gonna try and like hack it, even though it's not like my thing. So try to be clever. Yeah. Plop. Right. Ooh. Four. Yeah. Four. Man. Yeah. 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 And and thus do I just discover inside of the tablet. Yes. So so on this tablet, right? There's like there's a map of this whole compound. Mm. Basically. And so we now know the layout of of the compound. You know, but you don't know, like you basically have the copy of that map, but you don't really know, like like like. like it's it's not said what what is what. Just know mm -hmm. how many rooms are there. Uh, additionally, additionally, 
you can figure out from from the context that uh, this is station A that there are more places than this. Mm. So yeah, so, so 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 this isn't the only. Maybe this isn't even the main base of the Armada. Mm. It's maybe one of the many bases because there there are like multiple asteroid bases over there. Mm. And somebody has been collecting, like, like it seems like this the smoke war was in the possession of a lot of, you know, information on this base, which would which would be weird to for one of the pirates to hold stuff like this on him. Mm. I missed that last part. Sorry, because you cut out. Well, it would be it, yeah. It, sorry, it would be weird, you know, mm. for a guy like this to uh, basically, you know, like you are a guard, right? And uh, for a guard, it would be kind of weird to have uh, to have you know photos of uh, of of your base, the map of the base, and photos of other bases of your quoted quote unquote company. Right, okay. It looks kind of weird. So it's like, mm, this is interesting, intriguing. Mm. Well, I mean, there's not much we can do with that information at the minute, so I think that's my, you know, bitten and bobbin done for the time being while we wait. Okay. So if you guys are not doing anything, Kanida returns. And she says, "Your contact will arrive tomorrow." I I, I spoke to them. They will take you quietly to to, to the heart of of, of Sukroko, when you will be able to carry on with my little plan. Then we can get rid of our problems. Sukroko. Huh. But there is one condition, so you know, we can trust each other. I'm keeping your ship, and and the scientist. So I I I will know that you guys will do the job done. I'm I'm just looking really cold, and I'm like thinking, and I'm just saying to. If you touch one hair on her. Then what? You are going to regret doing that because she is really smart. <laughs> I mean, have you, you know, seen her? That's, that, that, you... That, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And and she's like, they are really interesting to work with you. One of them, my contact was visibly visibly interested when I mentioned you. Your name, she looks at Rita. Why is that? I don't know. You will have to ask them for yourself. Uh, okay. So I'm just like warily like walking up to her. Mm. Just just don't don't hurt her. She will come. If you on. don't give me, a, if you don't give me any reason, I I'm not going to hurt anyone. I'm not a barbarian. You know? I know. I was aware of that the moment we got here. I just want to be sure, because she doesn't deserve that. What I want from you is not only to kill that little rat, but I want all all his trays gone. I want all his database gone. I want all his family records gone. I want to erase him as he erased my people. Like Do you understand? Like he never existed. Indeed. Okay. I think we can do that. We managed to we managed to bring back ourselves on the brink of death and recover a shit that we thought was unrecoverable. Yeah, I think we can erase the guy from one guy from existence. See, not that bad for a cop. And she smiles, and I think for, for the first time, it's an honest smile. 
I just give her a nod. And meanwhile, we see, you know, somebody like somebody uh, hidden in the shadows with, with an eye patch and uh, open, opening the communication line quietly. And it's like, Mr. Aki, you won't believe you won't you won't believe me where they landed. Should I secure the package? And you can see the Ray Aki sitting in his chair and it's like, proceed. Ah, we will kill two birds with one stone. Lovely. And to be continued. Oh. Hey.